Welcome back to Metro Exodus. This is episode four. Last time we made our way over to recruit Crest uh, to the to the team, to the Aurora team. Uh, and today we are going to be continuing on our lovely adventure uh, of the open world of Metro Exodus on the surface. Uh, we have been discovering quite a bit on this lower region, uh, but we're going to go and get a rail car. We need to go get a passenger car uh, because we've got a space issue. Uh, we also have a plan to capture a trader tugboat and infiltrate the bridge shanty town. Uh, this this game is really fun. There's a there's a lot of stuff going on that I'm really enjoying, and that a lot of it that's new in comparison in comparison to the to the previous two games. Uh, so we'll have to see how it continues to develop, but uh, definitely some very positive feelings on this one so far. Uh, I have had to turn off Hairworks uh, once again because uh, it's, I turned it on, checked it out, but it's causing stuttering issues when you play the game. Uh, so we've, we've turned it off because I need better performance and I can deal with not having hair works turned on so I can see everybody's chin hairs and you know all of that being rendered especially when we've got beasts like the watchman to consider they're very furry things I don't need to render individual hairs we're, we're good um, because that's just going to make the game lag and stutter and give us weird performance drops and um, it's better to not have that, you know? So that should solve um, the problems that I was having. I was having a couple of those last episode, a little bit stuttery. We're gonna proceed now uh, to check out some of these question marks on our way to our main objective. So let's see how we go. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. Nice. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here. Oh. Just like with any other workbench. Got some new stuff. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oh, nice. We can swap. We can swap out guns that we've found. You won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Oh, nice. A new pneumatic system that doesn't lose pressure. You can try installing it. Use the and holding more ammo. I won't keep you here any longer. <laughs> He's like, I won't keep you here any longer. Thanks, man. All right, he gave us some cool new stuff for our pneumatic rifle, which is great. Um, let's craft some more med kits. We'll just max ourselves out at five. Uh, we've got a minute and a half on gas mask filter. We're okay at the moment because we're able to breathe on the surface. So I guess we'll just leave it at that and we'll be able to scavenge some on the way, I assume. We will see how we go. Thank you, Chief. I'm not doing anything with the workbench now, Artyom, so you are welcome to use it. I have used it. I'm good. Thank you. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course. God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? I literally said this as well when we were in the church and I saw the teddy bear I'm like I gotta get the teddy bear for the child because it always happens they always leave it behind but this one is a little bit different apparently there was a teddy that was brought but still lost but it's funny that I just knew it was gonna happen um it's really great seeing the depth of field come into play on the binoculars you just can focus on people's uh faces while they're talking they're very well detailed I, I love looking at it a demon took him, a flying one. It was scary. They lived there. It took Teddy to Ah, uh, I see. Teddy bear icon. I miss Teddy so much. Oh, wow. I 
wanted to go visit him, but mom won't let me because there are electric demons too. Dynamic weather. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. Wow, this is amazing. Raining when it's sunny does happen. It's very rare. It, it's weird when it happens uh, where I live, but it's 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 always such a weird feeling. But wow, this whoa, hello, we got a thunderstorm in the middle of the day, as well. Look at that. That's so cool. See that little lightning crash. Um, dynamic weather as well as a day and night system is super impressive, and this game is gorgeous. Very very pretty. Every time we just talk to someone, they're like, Artyom, can I have a word? Yes? What is it? I am looking. I am looking at you through binocular. What is it, Stepan? <laughs> I am just looking through, bin through binocular. Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Look at, look at my beautiful wife. Oh, God. <laughs> look at my beautiful wife. That's pointing gun right in her face. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. I will be back. I will embark on a mission to save the, to save the surface. All right, well, we left our boat behind, so we've, we're on a mission to go and get our boat. Um, actually, before we disembark, I should probably craft... I uh, should probably craft some bullets for me gun over here. Because as much as I love my steel balls and my pneumatic rifle, I'm going to need something to pack a little more punch as well. Oh, look at the details of my bag being wet in the rain. All right. Um, let's have a look here. Look at those hand grenades. They look brutal. Literally like nails everywhere. Wow. I'll craft two of those. There you go. Craft us some ammo. Nice. Okay. Good to me. Oh. If you need to adjust your gear. The atmosphere in this is incredible. I do wish that maybe if it uh, if it was actually rainy that the the weather got a little bit more gloomy. It's so bright outside, but we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, so looks like we've got a teddy bear mission to do on our way. So we'll do that. We can get the get the boat and take it out. I think I'm going to definitely have an issue with um taking the boat out because the boat the, the waters are just filled with those goddamn creatures Hi, One more I heard the guitar coming from that tower it had a nice sound but the player oh, a guitar I know it's dangerous and all but uh, if a chance presents itself save the instrument hey what are you people doing turning on me <laughs> oh, the, the question mark. The question mark changes to a guitar symbol as we know what it is now. Okay, cool. Guitar mission. I see through my binoculars a watchman. And I have turned off hair work so it doesn't look like a fantastically rendered creature. I've accidentally thrown a can of beans, though. Mission. Retrieve the beans. Retrieve can. It will not let me retrieve can because I have... Th there we go. It's I've retrieved can. Okay, they're screaming at me. They're screaming at me. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Run to the direction of certain death. Oh, I've entered radioactive territory. <gasps> ah! 
I'm out of breath. Back away, beasts! My, I can hear my own heartbeat. Oh, stay away. I'm, I'm in the safety of this camp. Stay away from me, beast. You are scared of fire. Yes, that's right. Wonderful. I like that you can find some little safe spots. Alright, still getting a little bit of... Still getting a little bit of stuttering. Um, unfortunately. And it is probably because I'm rendering a video at the same time, and what can you do? It's my PC that I have to use for everything. I don't have enough money in this world to buy a second PC. So, gotta make do with what I got. So I apologize for any slight stuttering that we may experience in the playthrough. That doesn't sound very friendly. Ah, the rain has passed. Look at these things. Look how many there are of them. Do you know how much ammo I'm going to have to waste taking these things out? That one's sleeping upside down. I have a feeling that I'm going to hate traversing the waters because it's already he's already on he's already onto me look at this already onto me uh because we're playing on hardcore we die in like two hits um so treacherous waters so every anytime we get into a boat we're just going to save beforehand <laughs> and then uh we'll see how we go all right let's reverse this bad boy reverse because I know that we can stop paddling and get our gun out for a bit, but I mean, I just don't want to have to waste ammo taking down a seemingly infinite number of sea creatures. Oh, we also have a giant sea monster in the lake. We also have a giant sea monster in the lake. Let's uh, let's keep that in mind as well. Now, it looks like we can get into that tower, which is where the guitar thing is, and there's a zip line that will take us across that side. So at the vi <laughs> Excuse me? I just got whipped out of the boat? Uh, I didn't even get... Uh, whoa! Excuse me? I didn't even get a chance to fight back. I just got, like, ejected from the boat. Okay. And then spat on. That's good. Boat stuck in the middle of the lake. Here's a boat I prepared earlier. Um. Great. Told you I wasn't going to like the boat segment. That's fun. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to fight back. As soon as I was able to shoot it, it just yeeted me. Okay. Now I can fight back? Thank you. Good. Great, now we're, now we're attracting attention of a giant sea monster. Um, almost dead. Yep. Trying to trying to strafe while on a small boat. Y'all y'all mind if I uh you'll mind if I can swim in these waters, please? Oh my god, here it comes. Okay. Okay. There it is. I'm dead. Alright, that's the, um, that's the boat experience of, of Metro. Um, cool. Yeah, I wish I had Anna with me, and then Anna could be in the boat with me, and then, like, Anna could shoot enemies as well. Because there are this, there's little islands that I'm going to need to use the boat to get to. Okay. Every time you're about to get into a boat, save your game beforehand. That's my, that's my sage expert advice from someone who's played like one hour of metro and oh! get off get off my boat 
He just died via this. He just died from the can. He died from the can. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my god. All right. Anyone else? You. Okay. We good. You guys mind if I boat now, please? Cool. <laughs> Watch me drop the difficulty to to normal only when we're on boats. <laughs> we'll drop the difficulty when we're on boats so I can actually survive hits and then put it back on hardcore later. We'll see how we go. All right, I gotta outrun this goddamn beast. Here's my question. Do these enemies respawn? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to assume they respawn. Imagine how nice it would be if you could like clear an en uh, an area of uh, of enemies. That would be really nice. You'd be like, you've dealt with all of them now. So you don't have to face them anymore. You know, that would be great. All right, let's leave the boat there. And as I made it. Oh. I hear people. Bandit. Hey, you fuck. Interesting. Where's this villager? This is the villager? Now, here's my moral dilemma. Killing in Metro is weirdly frowned upon, but in Metro Last Light, there were some instances where it was okay. Now you can kill the Nazis, right? And then in Metro Exodus, I'm wondering if it's the if it's the same. Because we're not seeing any like sort of morality flashes on screen. I want to assume that there are some instances where it's like it's okay to kill and somewhere it's not. Now, bandits slash raiders slash whatever in, like, your apocalypse games are usually treated as, like, the trash that you can take out. But stuff that is, like, residents of, like, areas seems to not be. Like, you know, if we started killing the people in the church just because they're in the church, that's bad. But if we... Bandits are, like, out in the wild and also... They're attack They're not happy with this guy. So I feel like, I feel like this might be a scenario where we're okay to maybe kill people. I'm gonna try and save this dude's life because I feel like that might be the that might be the scenario that we're in. I have a feeling that that's gonna be our sort of thing. We can save people, like save the villager. So when it comes to choosing out of two people, like save a villager or kill the bandits, you know what I mean? I got the sun in my eyes. It's so realistic. There he is! They got him! Eat this, you bitch! Where are you? Oh! The bullet's coming through. The Where are you? What the hell? Who's this fucker? Alright, well, I mean, there's probably no need to go silent anymore. I kind of revealed my position straight away, didn't I? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I see him right away! I'm charging my gun! Where'd you go, bud? I need a shotgun. Ho, 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 ho. Got him. All right, let's rescue the villager. That was so satisfying. Help me. I beg you in the name of the Sarfis, come tie me, please. Uh. 
Thank you. Thank you. Ah, Morality flash. Devils. Call me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cashier on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul. Damn, look at the detail in their faces. Like, even with, like, the, the crooked teeth and everything, the bloodshot eyes, like, so impressive, dude. They look better in the binoculars <laughs> than they do out of it. All right, I feel like that was a good choice. We saved uh, Villager. So I think Bandit's a fair game to take out. And it's very satisfying to get a couple of pot shot headshots. Very, very fun. All right. I'm liking this. Now let's let's loot the corpses. And let's see what they got here. Apparently there's a guitar here. We get the guitar. We'll take a take a look around. I'm glad that we've got the uh Tiha um pressure mod so we can uh so now uh we got a, got that as a lovely gift so now when we over pressurize the gun it stays that way that was cool all right we are looting the battlefield what is you got for us everything has been looted already where's the guitar oh So it looks like there's a zip line up here, yeah, so we can zoom on over to the other side. <laughs> yeah, I got you nice and quickly, didn't I? Okay, let us head in. Nice meal for me to eat. Um, guitar up the top, maybe? That's where you've been hearing this music from? Am I even in the, the right spot? Surely this is it. Am I on, I'm on the point on the map? Yeah, I'm on the guitar point. Where's the guitar? Oh, there it is. Simon, the bridge is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the fuck that noise. fucking hand car for 200 clicks. We're neck deep in the red, though. So I'm sending Surge to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers. They were offering good cash for it. And get that ferry. Or a self-propelled barge or a tugboat. Do you understand me, Simon? No haggling. As soon as the others hear about the bridge, any piece of shit that floats will be worth its weight in gold. But we could still bounce back if we do it fast. Get to it, Simon. Time is money. Time is money. Guitar. I got it. Nice. Uh, I guess we can take that back to the train when we're next there. Well, if we head over here, this will take us... Yeah, alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need another boat, though. And then there's a sea monster to deal with, so that's uh, that's gonna be a problem. Because I don't think we're... We definitely can't swim, because the game kicks you out. Like, it, if you end up in the water, you end up on a surface. Ooh, there's some people there. I need to get a I need to get a better scope than a four times scope. Look at that. I see a boat. 
And I think this is a question mark island. Yep, that is a question mark island right there. At the very least, what I'm sort of seeing is when you get into a boat, it permanently marks it on your map. So there is potential that there might be a, another boat for us to find down this way. So let's uh, let's see if we can find ourselves a boat because it looks like the gap is being patrolled by that giant sea monster. He's just chilling. Let's go. You know what? Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have I should have used my binoculars up there. That would have been great to assess my situation. That's all right. Should be okay. Oh, hello, dude. The fact that the, this game has like just hit me. Get off. You you get back in the water. You do not get on land. It's because of fish like you that I have to pay rent. Why couldn't we have just remained fish? Look at this. The fact that they decided, yeah, let's fuck around and add mutants is so cool. Look how creepy that is. How can this image be so beautiful yet so haunting at the same time? Like, look at this. This is beautiful. All right, let's, uh, because we can craft the, our bowls of steel. I feel like this is the way to go. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it feels so good. It sounds good. God damn. Oh, damn. Oops, missed. Oh, look at it bounding towards me. Look at you bounding towards me there, chief. Green boy. Apocalypse never looked so pretty. Damn. The way that they just idle stance, like, oh my god. Now, I'm not sure how stealthy, like, I'm not sure how, per, uh, per, what's the word I'm looking for, perceptive they are, but wow. It's so creepy how they stand like that. Like, that is just so insanely unsettling. And you can really easily be overwhelmed by them, too. Now, do we have, like, stealth takedowns? Surely we do. No? I don't have stealth takedowns? Damn. Okay. That is not good. Alright, we don't have stealth takedowns? So you can stealth take down people, but not... Not mutants. I love that they they also have uh, variations to them as well. So they're not all just like the same, like some of them like look different. We got fucking green ones. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a waste to like only, it's like to, to clear them out because they, they ain't got, they ain't got shit on them, you know? But at least it's easy to craft. It's easy to craft. Only 10, only 10 crafting parts. So this is going to, this will probably be my go-to rifle when we're out in the field. And then switch over to something a bit more lethal when we're dealing with some, some stronger enemies. But the web, the way they're just like is just standing there, just like with their back, just like looking at the sky, like terrifying stuff. I'm 
so while we you know adjust and get used to the open world and exploring it and how it operates like i'm really liking sort of showcasing uh the the journey while we're while we're doing it but they will probably get to a point that we feel very comfortable um uh being able to like tighten it up a bit where i'll like cut some i'll probably cut some you know fluff out of the out of the playthrough if it's just you know pointless point a to point b exploring and i'll keep obviously everything that's worth keeping in but we'll see how we go you know Right, so this is <laughs> this is back up here again. So it looks like the mutants do the the, the enemies do respawn because we cleared that area out, but they just come back in again. And it's not looking like there's a boat out this way, but let's have a look. Maybe it might be safe to like walk across this segment with the flags. Instead of a instead of a boat, we can like walk across the gap. I think, <gasps> which is nice because we did that during last light. Last light was like just follow the flag so you don't sink. Arvion, Miller here, transmitting Duke's coordinates. He's keeping tabs on the bridge from there. Meet up with him. He'll oh. fill you in on the latest developments in the terminal. Miller, over and out. Okay, so meeting up with Duke in the middle there instead of going straight to the, the terminal. Okay. Well, let me scout out this area. I don't know if these people are friendly or not, so we'll find out. Oh. It's a no-go on the fuel, I guess. Um... Yeah, all right. I need fuel for this bad boy. We out. I'm not. Let's. Uh... Damn it. Okay. I will go find some fuel. Let's just assume that everyone who's not us is um, not friendly. That would probably be the best way to do it. Okay, these are locked, so we've got to turn on the power to get into this place. our boat now these are the people we spotted from a distance can we eavesdrop with the binoculars i don't know how this the oh i don't know how the game like works if like if you're able to like at least highlight someone it'll be like you can hear like i know i know that it's that, like the binoculars don't have a microphone in them or some shit but you know how sometimes you could like is yeah like I didn't know if, like, you could, uh, maybe if you're, like, looking at them from a distance, maybe they would start talking and it would trigger something, but it just seems like it triggers from far away anyway. It's like, maybe. I'm too used to, like, using my, uh, the little binoculars in Metal Gear Solid 5, how you could zoom in and, like, and that way you can eavesdrop on conversations. So villagers should be safe. Running people over with a train. Well, they are heretics. What do you expect? We tried shooting at them, but it would take a cannon to do any damage. So, Father Salentius forgave us for not doing our duty, but still gave us penance for leaving the post, which is another sin. So, why did you get the penance? Ah, that was my Damashka. She scolded me with a pot full of boiling water, and I just swore at her. Our Holy Father said hitting her could make our marriage even stronger. 
but running my mouth like that was a great sin. So he sent me fishing. With no gun. Ah, don't you worry. It's... Oh, well, you just look at what the cat oh. dragged in. Oh, well, hey, oh. Uh, heretic! Take... Did you come to tempt the faithful or to terrorize us with your gun? That won't happen. Damn. Some hero you are, <laughs> menacing unarmed men with a gun. It won't do you any good. We're not rescinding our faith, even if you kill us. I was just hoping to. I was just hoping to eavesdrop. He wouldn't try to scare others, and since he does, well, I'll be. He doesn't turn his satanic light on us. His gun is holstered. Oh, that's cool. They actually react to whether the guns aimed at them or holstered as well. That's really nice. I like how this can be done because that like allows us to sort of communicate to everyone. We're like, we're not like being hostile or trying to threaten them. I really like that. He's a human after all, even though he is a heretic. He has some sense even. His soul may not be completely lost. <laughs> you wish. Do they even have a soul, them heretics? Look at his armor. Yeah, that's a work of Satan, all right. I wish our paladin said something like that, though. Of course, blessed by Father Salentius. We'd never have lost the train depot or the tower to those bandits. We'd still have it all, and they'd all be in hell. We'd be cutting them down like dogs. It is temptation. Temptation by technology and its satanic power. You're right. But really, damn. I'm not crazy though, right? They like look better through the binocular lens. Oh, actually your eyes are a little bit weird. <laughs> well, well, I'll keep my distance from your eyeballs. Okay, so villagers don't attack, which is good. I didn't know if it was going to be like a stealth scenario and they would like attack me and I'd have to like knock them out, but that's good. See me send that heretic packing with faith alone. Oh shit, that's sleepy time. No, I don't, I don't need to sleep. Um, oh, I can ch I can sleep till night, sleep till day. I don't know what the bottom one does. Take a piss, drink some water. What's, what am I, what's this? Pee into, yeah, pee into a bucket or take a drink. Either one of those. Ah, lovely. Take a, take a swig of the old whiskey. Nice. I like that you can um, choose to pass the time if you want. I need to get some more uh, chemicals. I'm wondering if, um, I'm wondering if when we go back to places where we've previously looted for chemicals and stuff, if that refreshes as well, like we can go back to the sewers to go do a little mushroom run, get some chemicals again. We can get a heavy stock for this bad boy for some big old stability. What do we got on this one? Yeah. Right. Yeah, the boat sure does come in handy. Most useful thing by far, in fact. So I'm sure that catfish gave me a few scares, but walking on ground is much more dangerous still. But the bandits look seriously intent on kicking the fanatics up the bridge. Got camps all around, the train depot, the ruins nearby, even on the power line tower, believe. They're really at it too, cutting the bridge at strokes like the chickens. Really feel sorry for the poor bastards. Fanatics are a bunch of assholes, of course. The bandits, oh, they're far worse. Hmm, okay. I'm looking for fuel. You got, you bought, oh, they're gone. <gasps> they're gone. They've packed up their fishing stuff too. I wonder if that means there's just scripted events in the world that you will encounter like that. And then like when it's done, it's done. Then they just disappear. Cause where else would they have to go? 
Please have fuel in it. Yeah, got me some fuel, baby, just outside. Let's turn this bad boy on. Fuel it on up, baby. Let's open up this bad boy. Nice. Okay, let's take a look. So this one looks busted? Yeah. This one's busted. Maybe we just gotta fix something. Bicycle. Ah, oh, or we go around. Okay, um, it's got a lock mark, but with a thing. Hang on. Can we... Let's take a look here. Ah. How are we getting into this place? We dropping in through the top. Okay. Look at all these books. Big book guy. Okay. We drop it in. Now we can open it from behind. Ah, gotcha. God, this is so good. I love the way that this is all set up to like getting into places, needing to fill up stuff to, to access it. And now we should be able to get into that other room. Like I, I really like how it's not just like super straightforward. Like there's things that you got to do to get into places. And then even then it's not as simple. Oh, hang on. I picked up, I went the wrong thing. There we go. I like it. Very realistic. Love my immersive apocalypse. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? What in the world, dude? What were you doing in here, Frankenstein? So I've got, I got some batteries. So I might need batteries for, like, something at some point. Seems like it might be an important item. What the hell are you doing in here? Jesus. All right. Well, that question mark is off, and now we've got a safe house. Alright, and we've got a boat, and there's a question mark in the middle of the, the water as well. With the way that I'm seeing how this game is set out though, like as a little open world experience being able to go from, from point to point, I do feel like we might have this, this could, this might be like a decent length for a, for a series, because it's not going to be just a linear metro experience like we've had in the past, but um, very different. Ooh, this, this bird is real struggling to stay on this boat. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> ah, leave me alone. Uh, leave me and this bird alone. We're trying our best. Oh god, there's so many of them. Okay, this bird is hilarious, dude. Quick, go faster, outrun them. <laughs> 10 out of 10 game. Most immersive bird ever. Let that bird go. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Ooh, hello. 
Hold on a second. Stop! It's not letting me turn! Turn bolt! Turn bolt, please! What the hell? I'm stuck. Thank you. God, such a wide turning circle? Why isn't it letting me turn? Okay, I've got a weird glitch happening up to the left of my screen. <laughs> You're shooting me from underwater. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. These were just throwing knives. These weren't even anything useful. God damn it. Uh, I'm going to th throw throwing knives at them then. Let's go. Okay, how dare that pu push me back like that? What the hell? That's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm out of I'm out of uh, first aid kits. Oh, dude. Oh no. I want to craft first aid kits, but I'm also like. I hate this. Yep, I'm dead. I want to craft first aid kits, but I can't because I'm surrounded. I was like, oh, this, uh, these, uh, I was like, these enemies have, uh, these bodies have, like, cool glowing red things. It would be important for me to get. No. Just throwing knives. This fucking bird. Um, yeah, so I hate these guys. I hated them in Last Light. I hate them now. Uh, they're, they're, the, they're the worst. I hate them. Um, they're just literally there to make you hate your life. And there's so many of them. And they're strong too. And they bully you. They absolutely bully you. I vote for less of them, please. There's another boat right there. I'm going to install the mod to remove them from the game. Surely someone's put a mod in the game to remove them from the game, right? <laughs> I'll do that. Where? Where? Okay, they're actually shooting me from underwater, right? Okay, nope. Okay, I've, I'm drowning myself. I'm actually, like, killing myself is, is better than dealing with these. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. Um, if you're actually too far from land, it puts you back in the boat. That's nice. I don't, I don't like them. They, they bully you. And they, they bully you. Um, so I feel like we're going to go with a really great idea, right? Which is when we get in the boat, we're going to drop the difficulty down. <laughs> so when we're in the boat, uh, we're going to play on reader difficulty. <laughs> there we go. So when we're in the boat, we're on reader difficulty. Um... Because we're we're just we're just reading. There we go. I'm gonna solve all of our problems. Oh hey there. Oh look, you missed. And even if you did hit me, I feel like it would be a light tickle. Okay. Don't do that. Can you not hit me off the boat, please? I'd rather not get hit off the boat. Thank you very much. Is that not weird, though? Like, how sometimes they will get on your boat and before you can even retaliate, they're whipping you into the water. That dude just got off with that. Okay. That dude just went through the bottom of the boat. With the behavior of these squid boys and this bird, this is a 10 out of 10 experience right here. And if any of you complain... I do not care. I will not let these these stupid prawns ruin my enjoyment of a beautiful experience. So I will make myself invincible on the boat. Or so help me. <laughs> I'll turn this boat around and I'll never play this game again. No, I'm kidding. Um, 
for real though. Fuck the prawns. They suck. <laughs> Drop it on back on hardcore now. Here we go. <laughs> cool. So uh, something that I didn't actually know is reader difficulty just you don't take damage. Um, I, I actually thought I'd still take damage, but no, dropping it all the way to reader. That's even better. I'm straight up immune to the prawns at that point. Here we go. Uh, so this place kind of kind of fucked. That's grim, buddy. God, this is so... We're having... We're definitely having a, a moment, aren't we? Oh, God. Look how many notes we haven't collected. There's the thing. Exploration in this game is not linear because you can explore anywhere you want on the map, so I guess I shouldn't let that bother me too much. Patient Ledger. February 14th, February 4th, 12 patients, 8, acute radiation syndrome, stage 3, prognosis in all cases is poor, all I have left is 32 flasks of ampicillin and 40 flasks of tramadol, Feb 7th, 5 new patients in 3 days, 2 lethal cases, I couldn't do a thing, at least I have tramadol for the worst cases, Feb 11th, no new patients, everyone is here, 7 lethal, earth hard as rock, I just put them all in the shed, out of ampicillin, so I just gave, give them saline 4. They say they feel better. Feb 15th, 6 lethal. They all know everything now, but they still keep thanking me. Only two tramadols left. I'll put them both into Vaya's drip. She's a... Uh, she's a... Stage 4, and suffered longer than anyone. But she never complains. I can't handle it anymore. Feb 23rd, just three of us left. We kept talking all night. Helps to distract ourselves. The sores ache like hell. I don't get how... I don't get how could Vaya endure it. In any case, it's not going to take long now. Feb 25th. Today I was the only one to wake up. I did all I could. It's time. And then he hung himself at the end of it. Damn. And we're hearing the ghostly and sickly cries and screams of it all while we're in here. Oh, and we are seeing the ghostly, the ghostly figures too. Oh my God. I'm so glad, even though this is so grim, I'm so glad that these, this element of Metro was still intact. Oh. God. Yeah, that's so that's so good. Like I really love that this this part of uh, Metro is still still intact in that way of like the ghostly supernatural elements. Like when we went through the the plane in Last Light, I was wondering if it was going to do it when we went through the plane in this game. It didn't, but we still got stuff like that, which is great. All right, I need to get this boat, and we need to get onto this main piece of land here. And we've got big sea monster. And we've got fucking asshole. Okay. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I'm getting back in the boat now. <laughs> I'm getting back in the boat. You know what that means? You know what that means, guys? I'm getting back in the boat. Oh my god. There's a goddamn... Okay. Hold on for dear life, bird. I know you're doing your best. We got this. Let's go. Are you with me, bird? Such a well-trained bird. He's never letting go. Oh, we got some light sources on over here. We got civilization happening. Let's get out of this boat. 
All right. Let's see. Well. Oh, I hear people. Hey, what's that noise? What do you mean, what's that noise? I'm not making any noise. Leave me alone. Why are they already... They're already sus. They're already suspicious of me. I'm not making any noise, Chief. I'm as quiet as a mouse. It's the sea monster you hear. It's weird how you see the uh, visuals change for a hot second there when you take the mask off. There's like a weird filter on it. Look at that. I kind of like how it looks without this. I like how it looks like that. Isn't that weird? I kind of like it. How it looks. It looks like, a, like there's more, a little more contrast. Now, I don't know what type of enemies these are. I need to, I need to get some subtitles so I know if they're bandits. There's a zip line though. Take to that tower. I don't know how stealthy these bushes are. I don't know how their line of sight is either. Give me some subtitles, Chief. What do they look like to you? Do they look like bandits? They look like bandits. They look like bandits. They look like the other dudes that I've killed. They might be good. We might be good here. Okay, it's like a little death triangle zone. Yeah, I think these are bandit hideouts. The little the skull in the triangle. Alright. So I think we're safe to take these bad boys out. Which is good. Weapons free. Fifth freedom is in effect. So fucking tired of this shit. I think they're wearing. I'm not sure if our pressurized bullet will go right through there. Because I think. Let's take a look. Why the hell should we all be around here? This place just gives me creeps. Not yeah, they got you got big boy helmet on. I'm also not sure if laser sight gives me away. Look, if they're just bandits, bro. Looks like nothing. Nothing here. New gas mask. You see how the pop up is like super small? I mean, to get this kill, there we go. Turns off light to be stealthy. I can't see. <laughs> I need my night vision. Now apparently the uh my little iron sight thing you can see that like the light has a little bit of like ghosting to it. I think apparently that's like the the DLSS in this game. Um doesn't bother me too much, but um That's what that is. Why did I have to get so fucking wasted? Why did I have to get so fucking wasted? Mm-hmm. 
Who turned down the lights? Oh, look at the low hanging moon tonight. Walk over there, man. How do you even? I gotta figure out how to start getting up. How's everyone else getting up? There must be a ladder or something, right? Or a lift. It's the way down. <laughs> I thought that would do the trick. Gonna be suspicious of me now. Is that really the only way up? That one little. Hmm. Okay, th is this the only way up? Okay. Wait, what the hell? Strange. Shot him in the back of the head twice. It was the front of the... But I was able to get him on the front of the head? What was he wearing? Because I swear this guy was not wearing a helmet. Yeah, he's not wearing a helmet. Shot him in the back of the head twice. That's a cool design though. He's got like a beast pelt hood. Oh, he's given up. You, you surrendered, huh? Is this what happened before? Don't shoot! I give up! Interesting. This is what happened last time when we knocked out enough of the paladins. They surrender. This would be a situation where I would assume... Enough. I give up, man. Like, really? Fell down and broke my legs. <laughs> fell down and broke my legs. That dude surrendered and I fell down and broke my legs. He's like, well, oh, fucking, I win. <laughs> you won, man. No. That's so funny. God damn it. Imagine that. Dude's just like, I give up. And I'm like, I'm coming to knock you out. <laughs> Slip and just broke my, my legs. Um... That's hilarious. All right, maybe let's, um... God damn, that doesn't even feel like much of a drop. Just chill, man. We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> we're, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool, man. We're cool. So this feels like a, a situation where, even though they're bandits... Lucky. Even though they're bandits, like... Now that they've surrendered, it would be not good to kill them. You just knock him out instead. That's sort of... Oops. That's what I assume would be the case there. Nice. Cool. Um, now we can use that zip plane to head over that way. So it doesn't mark off the base at the end like that we've like cleared it or anything
I'm not sure if there's more to loot of this place before we before we leave as well. Probably safe. There's probably a safer way down, but uh, hopefully I don't break my legs. Good, nice. All right. Now I think we can uh, make this place our own, eh, boys? <laughs> now I live here. See if there's anything else worth looting around this place. I guess I'll take, uh, I will also take a quick opportunity as well, just to, I suppose, gather feedback and ask how you feel about Metro Exodus as a let's play and how you'd like it to be captured, what you would prefer. Are you happy for me to kind of run through these point to point little things, check out the question marks, you know, um, you want to see the combat encounters, stuff like this and me like uh, exploring and scavenging. Um, God damn, as well as, um, you know, main story stuff. Like, let me know how, how you feel. Would you like me to sort of cut out and trim the fat? Are you happy to see me go through this kind of stuff? Like that, I guess those are the, the questions I have. Like, let me know how you, how you're feeling about it, because I am enjoying being able to do something like this and just seeing how we, uh, seeing how we go. Like I, like I said, I'll probably trim stuff, stuff out over time. Oh, you know, happy to, happy to adjust <laughs> on what you'd like to see. Now, again, these, these look like bandits again, again, these, so I think, I feel like we're seeing a lot of a bandit scenarios here. This place isn't a question mark and not currently a quest. So this might be a situation where we'll probably end up here at some point, considering it's part of like a, a train terminal. So I might leave this for now. This will probably end up being something that we'll need to clear out to get the uh, train car out. So I'm going to follow these tracks and go to Duke. We will get that teddy bear before all of this is said and done, though. Oh, shit. As a sort of like, I guess, um, additional thing with Metro Exodus as well, is it's very clear that the episodes are longer uh, in comparison to, to Metro um, 2033 and Last Light because of like the, I guess, the, the linear nature of those games in comparison to this one. Like, there are some changes. Oh my fucking god, man, I'm just trying to chill out! <laughs> I don't need fucking... I don't need prawn jump scare in my life, dude. I don't need fucking prawn jump scare in my life, okay? Jesus Christ. God damn it. Don't, get, don't you dare go in the water. Alright, hold on. We're in the boat. You know what that means? The things, the things we do for our own enjoyment, you know, the things we do for our own enjoyment. Do I want to enjoy this game? Yes, I do. Does that mean I would like to peacefully, you know, avoid, avoid contact with, um, taking damage from prawns? Yes, absolutely. Let's get out of here. We'll save that question mark for when we're heading through to the transport carriage as well. 
So I think we need to go this way. Yeah, this is where we're going to go. We'll check it. Hello. I also promise you, I also promise you that this will be the, the only, the only segment in a game where I drop the difficulty. Nobody wants to see me, no, nobody wants to see me suffering on, on these things. Nobody in their right mind anyway. Like, could you imagine if we were playing on hardcore right now? Look, look at this. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is just awful. Please tell me I'm not alone with this grievance. <laughs> we're on a peaceful, we're on a peaceful like Venice, you know, just like trip over the water, like romantic, right? That's what we want. Romance. We want romance in our Metro Exodus. Uh, let's go check out this little island that looks to have some big boys on it with our question mark. Really love the oily uh, texture on the water there, like when you see like the light hitting off like water that just ain't clean. I really like that. Hello. <laughs> okay. You just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay, I need to get into a safe zone to like safely put the difficulty up. Okay. I'm trying to put the difficulty up so we can have a fair fight here, but holy shit, there's two of them. All right, hold on. Hold on, fellas. Hold on, fellas. Let's, let's... Allow me to make this a fair fight for you. Okay. <laughs> if only I could bring this, uh... If only I could bring that electric thing over here. Have you get zapped. <laughs> oh, my gun's jamming? Oh shit, my gun's jamming. I need to clean it. I need to clean it. They don't like fire, right? Oh, I got one. Will they, are we scared of my little lighter? Yeah, lighter. Okay, he's not scared of my lighter. He's not scared of my lighter. It's... No! No, I want to change to Molotov. Oh! Climb! Did you see that the prawn... Did you see that the prawn's spit attack pushed me into the enemy? That's never done that before, has it? Like, the... I didn't realize that the prawns had the ability that their spit had such g-force that it could push you into orbit if it so wished it isn't that crazy like it the way that it pushes you in the air like artyom feels very light as a feather and he felt very heavy in 2033 and last light but i feel like ridiculously light in in this game like when you're sprinting and jumping you are like weightless almost it's kind of concerning i don't know why it's, it's very strange to me. Like, I'll be running, a prawn spits at me, and I am 20 kilometers in the other direction, all of a sudden. It's crazy. It's crazy talk. Crazy talk. Alright, so this, uh, this is a, a death island. I've equipped my Molotovs ahead of time now. Be smart about it.
Hello, fellas. I can actually, you know what? Fuck you. I can do it from here. Uh, actually, no. Because that's not fair, because I need to put the difficulty up. Hold on. Oh! Hold on. Alright, let's fucking go at it. Let's go at it. Get boomed. Mm, I don't know what I expected there. I, I don't know what I expected there. Hey -ya! Yes, I think the I think the fire just wipes them out. Yes, it does. Fire just wipes them out. Bam! Nice. Bandit's note. Brother, I totally understand your lack of confidence, but he was telling the truth. I got the information from him personally. You know what I mean. X is where they hid all the good stuff they were carrying to the terminal, no doubt about that. We have to move quick if we want that loot. I know you will need to take Luzga on board to help you, and as a respectable man, I agree to an even three-way split. You will do all the footwork, yes, but I have given you the map, my gun, and we'll also keep the rest of the boys busy with the game while you dig. Zora. Oh. Okay. Well, that, that didn't go down very well for you guys, did it? <laughs> Do not spit on me. I'm making sure I've got everything. Alright, I guess this dude just did not make it. Both of them didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hilarious. Alright, let's mark that one off the map. As done. Where we where we dropping? Alright, we're going straight ahead. Onwards and upwards. I'm stuck. There we go. There we go. Get ourselves off of there. I think there's a healthy compromise because, like, hardcore for like all of the game is uh, is good. Because the alternative is I just play on like normal for the whole game. To avoid, you know, changing the difficulty at all. And I'd rather not do that. I like playing on hardcore. It's fun. And taking off, like, stripping away elements of the HUD. Like, super enjoyable. Like, genuinely. But, um... This boat segment... Happy to happy to leave it at, at, at the way that we've, uh, we've done it there. Happy to do that. No, 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 oh, you're new. Look at their little rat faces. Oh, <gasps> and they're quick too. Oh, and they're quick. Oh. Oh, my guns. I'm out of med kits. Back away. Back away. No! We're not you two! Oh god. The surface is so fucking terrifying. It is treacherous. It is terrible. Oh my god. Okay. Let me craft some medkits real quick. Because I didn't realize I was out. God damn it. Okay.
just a nice peaceful a peaceful row under the moonlight very beautiful okay so we got some new we got some rat boys in the hood over here we have some rat fellas as well as some watchmen now i need to get up on that bridge that's what we're doing because there's something obviously in the way there that's what we're focusing on right now okay Oh god, it's probably the worst spot for me to look at look at Oh, do they fight each other? They fight each other, dude. That's awesome. Oh shit. Oh, that's so cool to watch. They be fucking each other up. Yeah, you leave uh, no no no, you you leave me be. You you fellas you fellas leave me be. You yeah, you you out of here. Yeah, you could do your own shit. You could do your own shit. Stop it. Fuck off. Get out of here. I will shoot you between the eyes. Come on, man. Come on, come on. You guys move on. You guys move on. I'm nowhere near you. I'm like 20 meters away, okay? That's enough. Good. There's some more rat boys over there. You can fuck them up. Ooh, they, they territorial motherfuckers. They territorial motherfuckers. How are we, how are we doing this, man? How are we how are we doing this? You guys, you guys do your thing. I'ma just I'ma go over this way. I'm gonna drown. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drown myself. <laughs> yeah, can't can't the can't that uh, goddamn electrical demon just come in and clean house for a second? I'm gonna hide in here. I'm hiding in here. Yeah, that's right. I'm hiding in the back of this truck. We're running. Oh god! It just spawned in right ahead of me! I need to get up on this bridge! Oh wait, there's electricity nearby too. I can't win. I need to stay still, but at the same time I need to get the hell out of here. All right, they've left me alone. God, the surface is so treacherous. All right, where this electricity boy at? All right, we're safe. It's down there. God damn. What a journey to get here. What a journey to get to this spot. Let me tell you. Metro Exodus. Oh, people be living in here. This is a little base. Interesting. We got barbed wire and everything. People be living in this little cozy spot. Okay, so I guess Duke's chilling in here. Makeshift little mid-track outpost. Okay. I can fuck with it. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, hello. Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. Cool. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. Mm -hmm. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. <laughs> oh well. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack. So there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out. But the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. That's cool. In any case, I'm going back to my post. 
I like that. So you can like sleep until nightfall. Do you just jump up there? Okay. I was just going to be like, you just, I was just like, he just goes, Whoa! <laughs> just force jump up there. Oh, that's cool. Let me up in your little hole. I would still come up. Oh. I want to have a look in there. Let me, let me see in your little hole. Nice, nice place you got here. All right. I'm, I'm liking the frequent little, little safe houses that we're, we're finding. That's cool. Right, I got a new helmet. Yeah, I got the reinforced helmet. Get a little more armor now. Heavier variant of the standard Spartan helmet. More advanced composite material, providing increased ballistic protection. And... Oh, this is what we got. Okay, so we got a battery charge controller. An electronic circuit designed to manage the battery charge process, improving efficiency and making the batteries last longer. That's what we found. Nice. Very cool. The, the amount of, like, customization we have and new things that you can find is, is very neat. Okay, so the objective is still here. Um, let me check my journal. Did it change? We've got a plan now. Capture the boat. Okay, so we got to get there by water. So I got to get the boat. Let's rest till nightfall, I suppose. Set my alarm. Have a snooze. Go to sleep. Oh, cool. We actually get to see the shift as well in real time. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Wake up, Artyom. It's time to fuck shit up. Cool. Okay, now it's updated. Okay, so we're making our way over to the edge there. All right, let's go check out this question mark that's like right here. Trying our best to potentially avoid the anomaly. You know what? Look at all those holes. I'm going to come back later. That looks like a death, death trap. We're going to focus on the mission. I'm assuming that the game has no sort of open world fast travel element to it, which is probably for the best, because otherwise it kind of takes away from a lot of the experience. Oh, <laughs> they fucking them up. It's crazy how many there are of them on the surface and this far out. It's funny how much when I see that, I just think of Khan. Just like, God, it'd be so cool if I could just, like, let him know. All right, there's a question mark spot coming up here. So I think I'm getting the... I, the I'm, I'm getting the vibe that the question marks are not necessarily, like, stuff for us to get. But it also is just, like, stuff to watch out for. Like, it's like, this is a bandit place. This is a monster nest. Like... Yep, that's what might be the case. <sighs> oh, actually, hold on. Well, this isn't even related to the question mark, but this is something else. I'm going to have a real tough time with the throwing knives in this game because i got no cross here, so I just have to really just aim it in the middle and just, like, wish myself luck. You know? It's just kind of going to be how it goes. That's 
what that is. Oh, shit. Uh, you just flew up through the bridge. Sorry? You defied the laws of physics? Okay. The, the laws of solid matter does not apply? Fuck my life. Just accidentally woke up, woke up a goddamn gargoyle? Shit. I woke up a fucking gargoyle. I like how they're called different things in different areas as well. Um, I don't Will you ever go back to sleep? Little one. I hate this. <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get picked up and thrown. Alright, run through here so it updates on the map and I think it's a little monster hole. Alright, we got some loot. <gasps> we got some goddamn collectibles. Waterlogged note. What are they even thinking just bringing all this shit here? It's gotta be disposed of properly. Fucking crooks in the disposal, splitting the funds with the generals while we get to park our asses on decades old shit. Wonder if it gets worse or better when it expires. Oh no, hang on. We read this already. Hang on. Shit, which... What did I just pick up? I thought it opened us on the, um, waterlogged note. Sure, and Nick, we definitely read this. I definitely read that. Definitely read that. Definitely read that. Wait, what the hell did we just pick up? Am I... Hang on. Definitely read that already. This was the one that was we found. We found this ages ago. Read that already. Maybe it's this one. I thought that I read this. Brother Peter, you will have to abandon your holy quest and bring your party back. A new group of heathens has appeared at our very gate, and there are reasons to believe that they may be far more dangerous for us than our usual assailants, as these seem to not just be able to prey on our blood and fruit of our toil, but quite capable of assaulting and destroying the very foundations of our faith. Your demon fighters will have to return to the bridge and keep their vigil until it's time to bring the mailed fist of our Lord's judgment on the heads of these heretics. Silantius, an unworthy servant of our Lord. All right, I think it was the sturdy envelope. I guess when we just opened the collectibles thing, it just was highlighted on a, on the note instead. Uh, the waterlogged note, which was weird. Also, I'm on the surface and I'm stressed. So I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, okay, so that's updated to... Hell. Just mark that on our map as hellish location. Well, at least the demon decided to leave us alone. We woke it up and everything, and it was like, you know what? You shot me in the face a couple of times. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to forgive you. Okay, so this is the bandit outpost. Which is easier to slip by them under the cover of night, but what if I want to kill them all? Yep, bandits, nice. Did you put the boat back at the dock? Oh. There's a trap set at the boat. What are we even doing here? Hey, shit, I boy. He started feeding all the dead to that fucking fish. 
Oh shit. What? Damn. Is it because I made the noise in the water? I didn't think I was visible. Crazy. Eat this, you bitch! Eat this, you bitch! Oh, the big, big helmet, big helmet, big strong helmet, steel balls can't penetrate. God damn it. I was not expecting to be seen there. I was going to go for the stealthy option, but I was caught. Alright, should have saved right outside, right? Or here. Here is fine. I guess. Oh shit. You show an interest in me all of a sudden? You fucker. Go for the bandits, not me. Wait a minute, why am I already in combat? Am I in combat with the demon? What's going on here? Playing combat music? It's got to be this bad boy. Whoa. Okay, I think it's the demon. Why won't the demon go and fuck him up? Okay, 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 okay. Don't you dare. Oh, why did I have to wake this fucker up? They're all, they're all on guard now, look at this. Really should have put the four time scope on this guy. Oh! Whoa! Do you see him just sprinting at me? Holy shit! He just sprinting at me! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> the four time scope on this bad boy would have been so much better, but it's alright. Holy crap, dude. I can't see shit. so much shit to worry about right now. <laughs> Fuck this. Go for the other guys. A whole group of them. Leave me be. I'm hanging out by this post. Oh my god. I am paying for my mistakes right now. Big time. Look at them run. We were going to try and do this with a more stealthy approach, guys. But someone's apparently got superhuman eyesight. All oh, the mutants are out. Hang on, I'm hearing mutants now. They're being fucked up by mutants in there too? Jesus. Yep, we got mutants. In the dick. Why is there so many of them all of a sudden? He's throwing shit at me! Oh! God. <laughs> Fucking god damn! This is brutal.
it's like the the amount of stress that just one firefight can throw at you is is insane okay it's looting time god i love this game so much it's just crazy stressful Got something. Nice. Weathered notice. Nikolai, this can't go on like this forever. You must understand. We will either remove that sign or set up a roadblock or do something. The people keep on coming in. The last family to arrive had to push their car for six kilometers, and they almost got violent when they found out that we have no gas. Yes, we were a government-designated civilian emergency supply point, and it's not our fault that the tanker never arrived, but you can't expect me to explain that to all the people who come in driving on fumes when they find out that they have to abandon their last possessions. Luckily, we still have some of the emergency rations left in that train stuck on the bridge. Incidentally, that's exactly where I'm going to move with some of the more agreeable people here. So when you finally catch that tanker, you can look me up there. Or better yet, just bring it over here. We're going to need that gas. We want to live through the winter. Man, this is bullshit. You don't play shit. Are you pushing the right buttons? Do you think I'm a fucking idiot or what? These fucktards just went and messed with the fucking thing. Why the fuck did they even have that? Hey, you asshole. Why did you have it with you? You aren't supposed to touch things like this. We were taking the satanic contraption to the house of the Zarfish. For purification and protection from it. To the fucking terminal? Damn, you're fucked up. Huh? Not such a great thing out. Give that to the other? I fucking did. The thing ought to be trash, though. Jesus. Oh, that man took one to the head and just shook it off. There was, a, there was another guy. There's some mutants around here too. Come on, mate. Pick your head out some more. Want to play? them too. What the hell? Jesus. This has been a journey. And a half. Wow. God. All right. Bandit camp cleared. Boat time. No fucking fish. Fucking fish. No, oh, no. I do not wish to partake with the fish anymore. God damn it. Let no more fish. I need a med kit. Um, I need to get. I need to do like a chemical run or something, man. It costs forty chemicals for one Molotov cocktail. Shoot. Closed reflex site. Nice. 
All right, let's have a look at the armor they got. I got throwing weapons. Oh, throwing weapons harness. Additional, additional straps. Oh, I can carry more shit. Look at me. Goddamn saboteur. I gotta clean my weapons too. Weapon cleaning. Oh god, it's so expensive. I definitely need to figure out how I can just get like... Wow. I need to figure out how I can get weapons galore. Alright, well, I'm out of chemicals now. I need to go f figure out where I can get a bunch of... chemicals. We'll have to have a look if we can do like chemical runs or something and if um... There's uh, things that kind of respawn or not. All right, here's our boat. And with this boat, we can take this boat over to the terminal. Which means this is how we do the mission. So if I want to do the... And then I'm pretty sure we take that passenger car and we're going to take it on like the train tracks maybe and then like, get it all the way back to the, the train. So on the way, I should be able to do teddy bear mission. A teddy bear. Oh look, that's that's a fish monster. You know what that means? You know what that means? It means I don't wish to partake in fish monster. Uh, over here we don't do fish. We don't do that. Fish are friends. Oh god, this looks pleasant. This looks very nice in here. Very, very welcoming. Yes, look at look at that. Very nice in here. That's exactly what I want to see. Jesus. Get a bit, get a bit windy in here. Get a bit windy. Nice. This is where I'll get all of my chemicals. There's a bunch of bunch of chemicals in here. I'm gonna slowly take it on over to each side. Is there anyone in here? Am I alone in here? Hello. Dangling around hanging corpses. Oh, okay. I hear a demon. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. Look at this area. Oh, oh man. Okay. I guess this is where we get off. <laughs> I'm in the terminal. Now I've got to find that rail car. Sure hope there is no Minotaur in this labyrinth. Love it. Okay. Oh, I found a hand grenade. There is a monster in here with us too, because of course there is. All right, well I asked for chemicals and I'm getting them one by one. Oh, 
Oh God, back, foul beast. Jesus, they're coming out of the walls. The slow ragdoll death, holy crap. I had to process that it had been shot in the head. <laughs> my, my god. Okay, so they can just jump out at you. There's, there's too many, too many jump scares. Also, um, you know what? I am actually going to just ever so slightly bring down that field of view. Um, ever, not that much, just ever so, not that much, just ever so slightly bring back that field of view because, um, I'm seeing like my, my shoulder clipping. Press C instead of V, both next to each other. Melee and grenade button right next to each other. Very good. I'm actually I'm a seasoned uh, I'm a seasoned keyboard and mouse professional. I know I never make those mistakes. It's fine. Uh, so that's what I that's what a hand grenade does. Maybe I should. Uh, you know what? Like I keep accidentally I'm I'm fucking up like big time on the. Uh, on the grenades. I think what I want to do is I'm actually going to put grenade on on four. I'm going to put throw secondary in four. So I've got one, two, three for the guns. If I want to throw a grenade, I have to like, I have to go out of my way to press four. I think that's good. Um, I'm happy with that. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change crouch to C because uh, that's a lot of what I, I'm a, I'm a C to crouch baby. That's my, that's my go to. Um, I think that's just going to work out better for me, you know? I think it would just work out better for everyone. I'm not going to be throwing grenades. And it should be good. If I want to throw grenades now, it has to be very intentional, you know? So I'm just making that mistake a lot. Surely this should not be safe to breathe, but I'd be out here just breathing. Raw dog in this place, no gas mask. Apparently that's the way to go, so let me check this out. I was like, this looks like the place to go for a second. Oh, it's locked. Of course, it is, it is locked. All right, we'll come back for you. Got that. Monster, dude. We're not going like over the top, are we? They don't feel right. Mm. 
I'm going through here. Do we turn this? Actually, hang on. Do we... Does this spin? Because it looks like we should walk, like, on... Hmm. Hang on a sec. Does this thing turn? And do we gotta turn it? Oh, the lever can be interacted with. For some reason, when we picked up the mushroom, I it didn't pop up. I must have missed the prompt or something. There it is. Does it does it turn? It turn. It do. <laughs> it do turn. There you go. That's what I well, that's what I thought it would do. Bop. Nice. And that's how we get over the other side. Good night. I really want to get better with the with the throwing knives. Like, I, but like, it's gonna take some. It's gonna take some goddamn practice. Um, it's gonna take some goddamn practice. That's for sure. Because we, I don't have a crosshair, so I really just, if I equip maybe this bad boy and then I just aim the laser sight at him and then press it, that's how I can get a crosshair without turning on the crosshair. <laughs> we'll see how, uh, we'll see how that goes. Next mutant, let's, let's try and line it up, baby. Oh God. Just be chill, just be chill, just be chill. Oh, just be chill. Oh, why do you have to be here too? Why are you doing that? Oh, fuck me. Swim out to him. Left. God damn it, covered, covered in goop. Oh, it smells like shit down here. My scope looks weird all of a sudden. Oh, I almost fell. I actually fell. This sea monster has got it out for me. Ah, oh, okay. We're gonna try throwing knives, and this is the most stressful situation to do it in. Okay. Are oh, you going outside? Okay. It's going gonna take a piss. Guess we're going down there. Oh, oh, hold on. We're throwing shit at each other. I got it in its shoulder. Holy shit. <gasps> Give it back. Ha ha! I got my throwing knife back. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Holy crap. Fuck my life. I gotta tell you, like, I think my favorite part about, you know, the craziness of this game, uh, even from like a, a difficulty standpoint is like, I, I love it. Like it's, it makes the combat encounters so stressful and what's good about it. And I, uh, you know, and I'm not talking about the, the boat because what's good about it when you're on land is you have control over the situation in a sense that, you know, the, the choices are yours. When you're in the boat, you're, you're paddling and you're getting spat on whether you like it or not, despite your best efforts, and you're constantly wasting bullets and strafing and dodging vomit. And just terrible. Um, but when you're out in the field and there's a whole bunch of different, like, you got, like, rain, like bandits and raiders and everything, like, it's so cool. And the, the, the fact that you can die so quickly just gets the blood pumping, you know? So enjoyable. We can take the ladder up or we can take the... 
Nice. Stick this up. There's no point in reaching me, sir. I'm a silent protagonist. I cannot, I cannot talk. <laughs> That's my favorite part about like him trying to like interact with me. What is going on over there? Look at that. All right, we're gonna get into some weird shit over there too. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. Trying my best with the throwing knives. Sheesh. Okay, I'm actually going to hand grenade. Hand grenade! Oh my god, they explode on contact. I like that. I like that the grenades explode as soon as you throw them instead of like having the potential for them to like roll away. Goddamn nail bombs, dude. Damn, they be t weird. They be taking blows to the face. Oh shit! I'm really just standing here and tanking those blows, aren't I? Like an idiot. Damn, they're getting they're getting stronger. They're getting stronger. I like that we can repair our gas mask as well when we when we need to because um, shit's taking damage as well. Alright. Now you boys got fucked up here. Oh, <gasps> dog too. Oh, damn. these things as well. Whoa, what the? Do not go away, <laughs> go away. I am physically incapable of responding. I wish that, like, look, I get it, but, like, I do wish that Artyom would speak, you know? I get what they're going for. I do. I get what they're going for. But, like, I wish Artyom would speak. And, and, like, if there was any game where him speaking would be appropriate, it would be this one. There's so much radio contact and, and, and characters talking to us and, like, so many characters are talking. There's so much dialogue in this game, like, a, like constant chatter. Artyom has a voice actor. He voices every single, like, loading screen, you know? I think that it's a... it's it's really unfortunate. Like, this should have been the moment where maybe he, like, was, like... I don't know. He gets a little bit, like, confident. A little bit more confident you know, after a couple of games. And he actually, like, says things here and there. Like, maybe not all the time. 
Oh shit! No, no, no! My gas mask is on. I need to change the filter. Put the gas mask back on. Oh wait! Shit! Hang on. Oh god! Hang on. Ugh! I don't have any. I'm out of time. Well, I haven't found any filters. Quick! I need to make it. God damn! Sheesh! I didn't realize I was out of time. Uh, filters are hard to come across, dude. I. I just I just realized that out of everything that we've been like looting and making, I think that's because like the game must have a focus on crafting your filters instead of finding them out in the wild as much. Same with first aid kits. We don't find you don't find a lot of um, first aid kits. I guess you gotta you gotta make them bad boys for yourself now. Be self sufficient. Damn demon. Oh, hello everybody. Whoa! Sheesh. All right, I think this is the way to go because there was two pathways and I thought this was actually going to be the alternate path. Turns out this is the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, just in just in my honest opinion, I think uh, Artyom should have just you know maybe not all the time, just a couple of like you know weighty sentences here and there, like actually have him like say something, you know. I just don't think there's a there's a good excuse when like he's been a, he's been a voiced guy in the loading screens um, since the beginning, you know. so we can not have to use time on the filters, please. Alright. Is this the way that I'm going? Where does that ladder go? That takes us up higher. trying to go the way that we're not supposed to the whole time so I can loot this place baby oh that's weird you're just chilling outside huh maybe when the sea monster is off if is not in here off screen he's outside, out of player's view. They stroll in so casually. They're just like, sup? Broke my, you broke my. Oh shit! I need to repair. I really need to get to a workbench because my gas mask uh, kicks the bucket. We're screwed. I'm gonna need a workbench. Hang on, it's I'm already I'm already struggling to breathe. Oh shit, I'm already struggling to breathe. Fuck, my because my gas mask is broken. Um, I can't repair it. 
I'm out of- Oh shit, I'm out of ammo for my big boy gun. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Whoa, why are there so fucking many of them? Alright. I definitely, I definitely got out of the way of that brick, but that's fine. Shit, man. It was so stressful. Alright, um, we're in trouble. I can't clean my mask. Extended magazine. Look at that big boy magazine. I don't even have enough pit. Uh, I don't even have enough ammo for that, but sure. But this is again. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Like this, like stressful shit is just crazy, and it's so much fun. And I am suffocating. You got this, Atium. Just be quick. Just be quick about it. There we go. You're good. Just be quick about it, bud. Holy crap. Give me grenades. But yeah, like, no complaints from, like, an on, like, boots on the ground, like, fighting encounters. It's, like, it's crazy. I'm so happy with it. Oh, no! Jump back! Damn it. Oh, it's stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> like, it's so much fun. Just absolute chaos, but so much fun. Okay, I need to find the lever to spin this bad boy around, I think. Right? How are we doing this? Am I, am I, how are we doing this? Where's the lever at? Ah, oh, this way? Oh, it's a real shame that I got a hole in my gas mask. Yep, 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 yep. Oh shit, where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? My flashlight has run out too. I'm, I'm, oh, oh, in here, okay, fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna suffocate. Come on, Artyom. Whoa! Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. So I'm not even using the filter anymore because, like, my gas mask busted. Oh my god! No. I am not okay. I'm not okay. I do not respond. I'm incapable. Holy crap. Gates open. So that's our that's our passenger car right there. So I gotta spin this bad boy around. Looks wrecked though. I can bring get it out. Oh. Whoa, okay. Worship the fish. I get it. Metro 2034. Oh, and there's a photo fit. Each of them? Oh wow, there's a photo for each of these three. Oh, this is grim. Alright, hold on. Wow. Yes, worship the, the fish. I get it. Thick ledger. Servant of our Lord Aleftina. Old age, 79. Servant of our Lord Piotr. 
60, Mushroom Poisoning. Serv servant of our Lord Mikhail. 42, Lack of Faith. Succumb to a Demon of Electricity. Lord Zakar. 31, Lack of Faith. Lord Vitali. 48, Lack of Faith. Wow. 32, Lord Oleg. Lack of Faith. Lord Tatiana. 46, Consumption. Natalia. 45, Consumption. Lord Valentina. 30, Lack of Faith. Devoured by Sawfish when drawing water. Natalia, 8, Hunger, God. Another Stepan, 22, Gargoyle Attack. Leah, 45, Heathen Atrocity. Boris, Heathen Atrocity. Yakov, Heathen Atrocity. Abram, Pneumonia. Kirill, 33, Lack of Faith. Sawfish, Gargoyle Attack by Nicodium. Vasily, 62, Gargoyle Attack. Evgeny, 54, Drowning. Alexandria, 41, Fell from the Bridge. Oh, Ina. Oh, just two hunger deaths by kids, man. Like kids starving to death. Oh, Alyosha, age five, hunger. Feed the children. God damn it. Barbara, pneumonia at 13. Ivan, drowning at 38. Simon, 45, consumption. Larissa, 27. Purple fever. Natalia, 25, purple fever. Mikhail, lack of faith. Suicide after Natalia, his wife died. My God. And then Nikolai, stillborn, Natalia, and Mikhail's son. God, it's just getting even worse. It's so tragic. Stepan, excessive fasting. Alexei, 18, lack of faith. Non-believer from the south, unknown age, black fever. Servant of our Lord, Vis uh, Valicia, 23, black fever. Caught the fever while tending to the sick traveler from the south. God damn. It's just so tragic to read through all of that shit. And just be like, everybody's just dying by so many different ways. And just, like, the kids dying of starvation. Like, my god. Oh, I'm feeding, the, I'm going to feed the fish an offering. God damn, okay. We got, we got to feed the fish. We feed, we feed fishy. Hold on. Let's let's feed fishy, shall we? Um, how are we doing this? We cut them, cut them off. These all look like the the children. Are these our starving children? They look giant. They look massive. Um, well, let me save because I'm not sure the sequence of events here. We got a lever. We got these three bodies, and then we've got the ring a ding ding to summon the fish. I assume. What does this do? Let's have a look. Oh, well, um, oh, uh, okay, hold on, <laughs> that just got rid of all of that, <laughs> hang on, Bef maybe before we spin that around, let's see if we, because this might be, like, a way for us to, like, deal with the fish, we might be able to, like, I don't know, like, satisfy, satisfy it, hang on, okay, let's try this. Oh, um, it hit the spiky things and it, and it, and it suffered the consequences. Oh, there we go. It's eating. Oh, it's eating. Right. Crush it. <laughs> it's eating. Kill it. Oh, no, it didn't work. It's still... It didn't work. Hang on. Surely that's what you're supposed to do, right? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a second. I have to load the previous quick save, because it just saved. Hang on. So we lure it, right? And then we drop all the shit on it and kill it? Surely that's, that's how, this, how this goes. Drop the bodies in, lure it in. Ring a ding ding, come in, get your food, bud. Oh, all right. And then 
when it when it goes to feast, gonna feast on these bodies, drop this shit on it, and then it should just get, it should get killed, right? Hiya! Yeah! Yeah! Got him! Oh! Whoa! No fucking sh way! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Did it! <laughs> oh wow! Okay, I'm still hearing uh, sea monster noises though. Okay, hold on a minute. Is this like a little... What's going on in here? Oh, wow. This is so grim. Oh, the graveyard. My god. Oh, the, ch the little small coffins, dude. Oh my god. Wow. That's so bad. This game is severely impressive. Severely impressive. <laughs> uh, it, it's blowing me away, this one. Oh, night vision goggles! My beloved! That is a sin. That's a sin right there, baby. I'm happily sinning. Oh, yeah. Look at all the technology that they've all shoved in here. Wow. Everything. They're just like, get rid of it. Wow. And then this is that little... Oh, is this not the other side? I think this is the other side. That's the beginning there. Wow. Is for the most part accumulated in the sediment and as a result affects the Benthi community the most. The active agent provokes pronounced pathologies in the crustacean and mollusk young, which quickly prove to be fatal. Yet the catfish hatchlings in the test basin have not only survived and remained completely unharmed, but quite unexpectedly have overtaken the control groups in terms of growth by a factor of at least four. The agent does not seem to impact the pelagic fish species that much. The perch and roach young have shown a marginal increase in growth with no apparent negative effect. Wow. I was hoping there would have been a workbench in here, just, you know, that was wishful thinking. Can I get over there? <laughs> can I get that can I get that mushroom please? I swear I don't have an addiction. Okay, we killed the goddamn fish beast. And there we go. We've opened up the we've opened up the passage. Here's our here's our little little thingy. There we go. Look at us go. We can drive this bad boy out of here. Drive this bad boy out of here, I think. How do we Okay, I'm backwards. Okay, let's have a look. Can't see shit. Oh yeah, that's I was given that. Oh look at all the oh, the kids stickers. Train driving simulator. I got my lucky dice. Oh look at all this stuff in here. That is so cool. Look at all the little de the little details that just make this so realistic. The way is open. I'm on the final leg of my mission now. Bring the passenger car from the depot back to the Aurora. So we've got to take it like the the full the full way back to the train. All right, I gotta back this bad boy out. We're reversing it. Oh, this is... Look at the, how everything, like, when you're moving. Oh, it's so impressive. All right. Do I really have to reverse the whole way? Have to re 
reversed the whole way. I'm so relieved. So, did you get that rail car? <laughs> you should get to the depot now. Watch your step, though. Atomic, there's a few shady characters over there. Actually, a whole bunch. Yeah. Well, in case of any trouble, you know what to do. That's the spot that we looked at at night time and it was filled with bandits. So we're going to reverse our rail car all the way over there and then in the reverse position, then drive it straight again. Amazing. Okay. With that one, we will be bringing this episode of Metro Exodus to a close. Big episode today. Got a lot done. It's it. This is a crazy game. I'm having so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as well. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Like making our way, uh, through, through this experience on our way back. We're going to get that teddy bear next time. And then we'll take this rail car back to the Aurora, uh, before checking out some of the other pieces on the map too. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you next time.